welcome back it's a yet another video and i'm going to be using this yarn and a 4.5 millimeter hook and i'm going to be holding two it's yarn acrylic i just want to give it a bit of weight let's dive in make a loop like that enter your hook in the loop that you've created and now you're going to chain 25 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 15 more i'm working mine off camera so I'm done with my 25, chain of 25, then plus 2, 1, 2, that's 25 plus 2. Then wrap your yarn around the hole, skip the first two loops into the third, and put a half double crochet. Wrap your yarn, go into the next, pull through, pull through all. That's how you work your half double crochet. So I'm going to do... To work a half double crochet on the entire chain like this and then i'll meet you when i'm at the end i'm getting done with my first row of half double crochet wrap your yarn go into the loop with half double crochet then i have a last loop work sorry work a half double crochet in the last loop like that so this is our first row and now we are going to work increases so chain two wrap uh, turn your work wrap your yarn go in the very first loop of your work this enter the hook pull through pull through all Wrap your yarn, go into that same loop, and make a half double crochet. So that is you've crocheted twice in the same loop. Then continue working a half double crochet until you reach the end of the row. so i have reached the end again of this second row like that you're going to turn your work i have one loop left the very last so chain two turn your work work in the very first loop this one put a half double crochet and continue working a half double crochet you have to work in the very first loop so that you keep a flat base. So I'm going to work and then I'll meet you when I'm at the end. I'm getting to the end of this row. I've come to the end uh, of my third row of half double crochets. I have one loop left here i'm going to work increases so put two half double crochets in this last loop like this sorry like this and then you're going to chain two turn your work go in the very first loop with two half double crochets this is one go back with another this is two and now continue working a normal half double crochet until the end of the row you will notice our increase it keeps creating the more you work it the more it creates so i'm going to work and then meet you when i'm getting to the end
I'm getting to the end of this row. Sorry. And the last one. Work in the very last loop so that you keep a flat base. Chain two, turn your work, and keep repeating the same thing until you have a total of 17 rows. Make your increases until you have a maximum total of 17 rows, and then I show you what to do. So now I'm done with my 17 rows. You can notice the increase now. This is a total of 17 rows. So let me finish up this row and then I show you what to do next. And put two double crochets. This is my row 17. Sorry. Done. And now we're going to work rows of no increases, no decreases. Next. Chain two. Turn your work. You are going to work in the very first loop. Enter with a half double crochet. Then continue working half double crochets along the entire row. We are going to work a total of 10 rows of no increases, no decreases. I'm at the end of my first row of no increase no decrease you already know how to work a half double crochet so i'm not going to explain this part so work 10 rows of no increase no decrease then i'll meet you when i have my full 10 rows My 10 rows are ready and now we are going to work a decrease since we started with an increase. So chain two like that. Put your stitch marker so that you remember where you stopped with your 10th row of no increase, no decrease. If you noticed, I have marked both ends so that I know where my 10 rows are. You should do the same. So turn your work. We're now working a decrease. Wrap your yarn. Enter into the first loop. Pull up the yarn. Then wrap your yarn again. Enter into the next loop. Pull through all. Then continue working a half double crochet. until the end we are going to work decreases again to a total of 17 rows just like the ones we did for increases i'm at the end of my first row of decreases chain two turn your work since this is our base, we have to keep it flat. So chain, put your half double crochet in the first loop and continue working a half double crochet. When we reach the front end, it's when we will add another decrease. I'm getting close to where I'm supposed to work my decrease. Pay attention. So I have two loops left, then I'm going to put, pull through, wrap my yarn, go in the very last one, sorry, like we did in the beginning, pull through again, and pull through all. Chain two, turn your work, and wrap, enter the very first loop, pull through, wrap, like that, wrap, 
going to the next pull through then pull through all and continue working a half double crochet keep doing the decreases until you have a total of 17 rows of decreases i'm going to meet you when i'm on my last row The decrease is creating it's going to look like this other side so i'm going to do mine off camera i'm going to meet you so that we can start working on the arm area for the arm you're going to make a loop make a loop insert your hook and you're going to do chain 60 plus two that is chain 60 and then the extra two loops so let me work on my chain 60 i meet you when i'm done with it i'm done with chain 60 i'm doing a plus two one two wrap your yarn skip the first two loops come into the third and put a half double crochet so this is our arm that we are working on work a double crochet until the end of this chain like that i'm at the end of my row one like that chain two turn your work so turn your work and in the first loop we are working an increase wrap your yarn go back with another half double crochet and continue working a double crochet we are still going to do a total of 17 rows just like we did on the first piece that we worked on so i'm not going to show you much just work an increase the same thing you did on the first piece but these are the chain our chain was 60 plus 2 you're going to work 17 rows then i'm, I'm going to show up with my 17 rows I'm getting done with my 17 rows of increases. This is our arm that we are working on. The increase is just on one part down. It's flat, just like we did the first part. So this is it, total of 17 rows, you can see. And now we are going to do three rows. Of no increases last time we did 10 now we are doing three so chain two turn your work come in the very first loop with a half double crochet and pull through and continue working a half double crochet so this time we're going to do no decrease no increase a total of only three rows so i'm going to work my three rows of camera i'm going to meet you when it's done now i'm coming at the end of my third row of no increase no decrease I haven't showed you everything because we already did the first piece it's a bit similar the only difference is these are three rows the other ones were ten rows this is it as you can see these are our three rows of no increase no decrease you can see them now we are going to work a decrease this was an increase last time we are going to work a decrease just like we did the first piece when we reach at the end so you're going to enter with a half double crochet and continue since this is the best so i'm going to work when i'm about to reach the end i'm going to show you what to do 
So I have my two loops left. Enter the first one, pull through, wrap, go into the last one, pull through, and pull through all, like we did in the beginning. Chain two, turn your work, wrap your yarn, enter in the first loop, pull through, wrap, go into the next, pull through, pull through all, and continue working a half double crochet so you're going to keep doing that decrease again until you have a total of 17 rows like we did in the beginning so i'm going to work mine and then i'll meet you when they are complete like that so you see that decrease is starting to create to look like this i already have one piece already done so work the same thing and make sure there are 17 rows total of decrease 17 rows total of increase and three rows in between of no increase no decrease i'm done with my two arms for my sweater top i'll stitch them together later and now we are going to do a small cleanup, like you see the way I did this piece, our first piece, our chest and back. Clean up like this using a single crochet. So let me show you on this one. I left one part unfinished so that I can show you what to do. You're going to work a single crochet to a total of four rows. Now we're going to start on the cleanup. This is my inside. You have to check the back and the inside. So this is where I'm working from, where my dirty work is. So make a loop. Enter the hook. No, 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 no. Actually not. Come at the stitch marker. Enter your hook. Enter in the loop that you have created. And pull through chain one and you're going to work single crochet in each half double crochet you're going to put two single crochets so work single crochet until the end like that So I'm at the end of the first row of my single crochet, the cleanup that I'm doing on top of the 17 rows of increase and decrease. So chain one, turn your work, sorry, and work second row of single crochet. Start from the very first loop and continue working a single crochet. You're going to work two like this. So a total of four rows. I'm going to meet you when mine is done. Our cleanup is done. The piece looks amazing. Both my pieces, I have done the cleanup. You can do yours as well. Complete both sides of both front and back. And we are now going to stitch the arms to the top you can see it this is the arm area down that we are going to attach and I'm going to show you how to do it so you're going to make a loop insert your hook and make a chain of 15 one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and you're going to do a plus two, so that is this is it. You're going to do one, two, you're going to skip the very first two loop to the third and put a single crochet. This time we're using a single crochet, so work a single crochet on the entire chain for the single crochet you just enter pull and pull through i'll meet you at the end like this 
so this is the end of our first row you're going to work a total of 28 rows this is it chain one turn your work work in the back loop with a single crochet we are working only from the back loops you're familiar with this with this stitch because i use it a lot on my making my waistlines for my skirts for my bottoms so work a single crochet to a total of 28 rows i'm going to work mine off camera and i'll meet you at the end so i already have one side of the arm attached i'm going to show you from the other side as you can see and this is it looks amazing i'm trying to summarize this video so i'm hoping you can pick out the important parts as possible so you're going to come this side attach your arm like this get your needle and you're going to be stitching from each loop you stitch twice in each half double crochet so enter your needle into both pull through and pass through it and now you're going to stitch this together the 17 rows should be attached together the ones you did on the arm and the ones you did on the top so keep stitching until you make sure the 17 rows are matching each other sorry the extra yarns are disturbing but i hope this is clear enough for everyone to see i'm at the end i have to make sure my rows are matching each other the 17 rows on the arm and the 17 rows down on the chest area or back area so i'm getting done with this one So when you're done, make sure it's tight enough. And cut off the yarn. And look, you're going to lock it again. This is the first round. We have the back area to go. Now that all our parts are done, all you have to do is stitch the parts together. That's what I can tell you. So come to the back you're going to pair it up sorry like that the 17 rows of the increase or decrease that you did i don't know if this is your front or the back whichever way you want it you're going to stitch this also together just like you did with the other part so enter your needle pull through i do this to look to lock in my yarn and also stitch this part just like you did the front so i'm completely done with the other parts i have to stitch down here then here as well
So let's start on the lower end. Sorry about the extra yarns. Enter your needle and again stitch to the very end of the arm. I'm done so my piece is almost coming to the end I'm going to attach this part around the arm area so I'm going to first stitch it together as well lock it together before I attach it to the other part okay cut off the yarn Tie the knot at the edge. And now we are going to first lock up this together before we attach it on the other part of the arm. It's ready and now I'm going to attach it to the other part of the arm. So get it. It's for this place. I still have enough yarn I think to do this. So come on the parts where you've stitched together. Make sure they are opposite to each other. This is mine. and in each row of single crochet you're going to in each row of half double crochet you're going to stitch once in the single crochet you pass once in the single crochet but then you pass twice in the same half double crochet i don't know if i make myself clear in one single crochet you pass twice but in the same hole then you pass twice in different holes on the half double crochet. So our arm is ready. You can see it looks amazing. Our top is almost done, 80% done. I could rock this. So I'm going to work on the lower area. You're going to make a loop. For our waist, you're going to chain 12 plus 2. And then we work a single crochet. You're going to chain 12 plus 2. And then we are going to work to a total of 80 rows or 85. Just make sure you have your waist measurement taken. So the waist is done. I'm going to attach it together. Then I attach it to the main top. Just like I did with the arm. I really can't explain this part because I've been doing it. You're going to use a needle and you attach the other stuff.
I'm going to work on the neck now. So make a loop, insert your hook, and then chain 30 plus, plus 2. This is my chain 30 plus 2, 1, 2. Skip the first two loops, come into the third with a single crochet. Like that. And work a single crochet along the entire row. Okay. I'm done with my first row of single crochet, chain one, turn your work. You're going to work into the back loops and work single crochet. You're going to work this to a total of 38 rows of single crochet. I already have mine done. Just wanted to show you this and we are going to stitch this. We're going to stitch this here, this part. So mine is ready so I'm going to just teach to first close this off this part so put your piece together come with your needle enter in the first loop and the first loop this side and pull through and lock it off and continue stitching it together so you're going to count and pick a center of this area that is one two three four five six and one two three four five six so this is my center so i'm going to come get this part that i worked on i stitched with to show the back of my piece so i'm going to join them together and again i'm going to stitch these together I've been showing you how to do the stitching so I'm not going to explain again and I'll be working on a written pattern for this
so I'm done without touching my neck so I'm going to close off this part and cut off the yarn technically our piece is ready not completely but 